first off for you, when you're finishing your bowl, day one of practice, how things go for you? How did it feel out there? Uh, it felt good. Um, it was definitely a, a important day for me and a bunch of the guys, you know, just going out there and playing ball and learning a new offense and new structure, you know, coming from no huddle and signaling plays to being in a huddle and having a quarterback tell you it. So um, I love it. I love the challenge. I love how much uh, focus it's going to take. And uh, it's a great opportunity for me to use this for for uh, a lot of people don't get this chance. So um, being able to take uh, a week of being a pro before actually being a pro and uh, going through this offense and this week of uh, preparation and studying a playbook and learning a new playbook and being around the best players in the country is, is, is super special. Yeah, I think um, I've developed over the years the ability to uh, do a lot of things at tight end. Uh, I've played pretty much everywhere at tight end, split out in the backfield, in line, moving around. And um, I think that's going to help me a lot at the next level. And the uh, biggest thing for me was just being able to tell teams that, you know, these past four years I've been working so hard as to not have an opportunity where I need to come out of a game because I can't do a job. And Ohio State's helped me out a lot at being able to do a bunch of jobs and uh, it's, it was a lot asked of me, and I, and I love that. I love the challenge of being a complete tight end. I uh, didn't really come out of high school like that. came out more of a receiving guy, and that was the big decision for me coming out going to Ohio State was to develop into a tough every down tight end. And um, I feel like that's kind of what I developed my four years there. Still have a long way to go, but I'm excited for that challenge as well. Okay, and then when you look at the interview process right now with NFL teams, how would you describe those conversations? Like, how things are going from your perspective? Yeah, I think they're going great. Um, did some interview prep, just getting prepared before we went in there, and um, I feel like I'm sitting in there really comfortably having just open conversations, and the biggest thing is just being myself, because that's what got me there. I'm not trying to put on a act for anybody and uh, make them like me for something that I'm not really, so um, just be myself and uh, have those open conversations and not really try and front for them and uh, tell them who I am, what I come from, what I stand about, and what I can bring to their locker room, and I think they've gone great so far. I think, I think they've taken it well, I've taken it well, and uh, I'm excited. Uh, anybody that someone that's just willing to do anything um, came into school d was asked to do a ton of jobs versatile uh, tough learn how to be tough learn how to run into people full speed when I didn't really do that a lot coming out of high school and uh, now it's kind of seen as one of my strengths so just someone that's willing to do anything it takes for the team to win whether that's uh, sacrificing production for myself or being that guy that needs to go make a play in a big moment I've always been the one to thrive and, and, and enjoy that and, and want to be that guy for the team so um just expressing that to them and that, you know, they're not going to get any off the field issues and I'm going to be that guy for them where if something goes south, like, you can rely on me. Okay. And when you look throughout, not just the senior bowl, but your draft process, what are you trying to prove or what are you looking to show these coaches to improve your draft stock? Yeah, I'm trying to show them exactly what I just said, that I can do anything they ask. So I don't want there to be a situation where they need to take me out because I can't do a job and um, work to be that complete tight end that stays in all three downs and, uh, last a long time in this league, which is definitely a, a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, at the same time, being able to show them that I can split out and go make those plays and in the receiving game that they might not have seen Ohio State as much as some other guys. And um, I think I'm grateful for that opportunity, and I'm hopefully going to be able to show them that this week. Okay. And going forward, what are your goals? What are some things that you'd like to achieve when you get to the league or the things that you look at there? Yeah, I mean, just have a s smooth transition as possible. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty mature and uh, continue that and continue the growth of being a tight end and in the NFL. I mean, it's it's a it's a big step for me. It's a big step for anybody and uh, just not make the moment too big and just trust what God be there and trust to be in myself and not try and change uh, who I am today eventually down the road and um, look back on these moments of, you know, when I you know don't have a lot of money, don't have a lot of fame, just be that same person and not really try and change that and, and continue to grow. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah.